the best thing that you can pray for. The best thing that you can ask the universe for is What if I told you that all the universe wants you to do, all that God wants you to do, is to be the most special person you can possibly be? How many times have you ever wanted to wear that outrageous outfit? but decided against wearing it because of what people might think? How many times have you wanted to better yourself, be more confident, be more self-assured, and yet hold yourself back because of what might people think? How many times have you wanted to be free and, and who you truly are, but you're worried that people might think that you're an attention seeker, or that you're a show off, or that you're too arrogant, or that you're not ready to do something like this, or you're not good enough to be that kind of person. If there's ever been a voice like that in your head that stopped you from doing what you actually instinctively wanted to do, it's a limiting belief. You weren't born with it, you've picked it up from other people, and the universe doesn't want you to play that way. What the universe actually wants is for you to be special. When I was at a question and answer session with Grandmaster Akshar, one of the most spiritually enlightened beings on this planet today, he said that the best thing that you can pray for, the best thing you can ask the universe for is please help me be special. Now, what does that phrase mean to you? When I say it right now, if you were to ask that in prayer, please help me to be special. How does that feel? Does it feel great? Or is there also a tinge of, of uncertainty? Is there a tinge of um, feeling like maybe to wish to be special means that I'm wishing to be better than other people and I shouldn't want that? Well, let's put it into these words. You're put on this planet. Your soul chose your body. Your soul chose this lifetime. And here you are with a limited number of years on planet Earth to live. Now, what would make the universe most happy? You living this existence to 20% of your capacity, maybe 50% of your capacity, or you wearing this lifetime out and living to 100% of your capacity and beyond. What sounds like a better deal? What would make the universe most happy, God most happy? What would make you most happy? You see, we inherit, we pick up on these things, these limiting beliefs, usually from our school environment or our family environment, where parents or teachers with good intentions try their best to be fair or try their best to make sure that everyone in the classroom is happy or everyone in the family is happy. And unfortunately, they probably inherited the wrong approach, which is often we get told that we shouldn't be so loud or we shouldn't be so us. We shouldn't be ourselves. We're told not to do so many things. When in actual fact, if you strive to be special, if you strive to be the best person that you possibly can be, does that take away any opportunity from me? No. By you being the best version of yourself, does that improve other people's lives or does that make other people's lives worse? The only people who might have an issue with you striving to be the best version of you are people who are jealous. But do people who are jealous of you have the right to stop you being the best version of you in your lifetime while you're on this planet? Just remember that anyone, anyone where when you think about doing something and then you decide, oh, actually, I shouldn't because that person pops into your head and their opinion is suddenly there in your mind, which stops you from doing what you want to do. Just remember that that person is only thinking about you a small fraction of their time. That's the truth of the matter. Whereas you, 
have to be with yourself. You get to be with yourself 24 hours a day. You get to experience your life 24 hours a day. So are you going to shape, mold, limit yourself from living your life just because of what somebody might think about you for a couple of minutes each day? It doesn't sound like a fair deal. It doesn't sound like a fair exchange to live your life based on rules that somebody else is forcing, well, they're not forcing you, but somebody else has made you feel like you have to live by those rules and yet they're not having to live your life. They're off doing their own thing, concentrating on their own affairs. So let's put it this way if this wasn't enough of encouragement already. Would you like to live your life option A? Controlled by the opinions of other people who aren't thinking about you all the time. Or B, would you like to live your life in a way that aligns you with the universe, makes the universe, makes God and makes you truly happy and fulfilled so that when the day comes, when it's the last day that you live on this planet, your dying day, you'll be able to look back and go, I'm so grateful, I'm so grateful that I decided to live my life on my terms because it was my life anyway. And I'm so grateful that I did not shape my destiny on the opinions of other negative people. So next time that you're faced with a choice of should I stand out and be exceptional or should I blend in so nobody sees me? It's entirely up to you which option you choose. But I hope that this video helps you to bear in mind some new thoughts, helps to put the decision making into the real life perspective which is, it's your life. Do what you want and don't allow others to live rent-free in your brain and prevent you from doing all of the powerful things that you were born to do, that you were put on this planet to do. Don't you dare allow somebody's small mindset to prevent you from living out your fullest existence. If you want to be a white girl and wear a bindi spot, go for it. Sure, the thought crossed my mind, what will people think? But then the other part of me thought, this makes me happy. I've had such an amazing experience here in India. I love the tradition. I love the ritual of doing this and focusing on my third eye chakra. I don't give a fuck what other people think because when I did my makeup today, this made me happy. And if five-year-old Lucy would have done this, then 26-year-old Lucy is gonna do it too. I'm gonna to continue to strive to make my inner child happy every single day. And if that disrupts a couple of other people, and if me being a bit outrageous is something that causes somebody who's preventing themselves from being themselves, causes them to feel uncomfortable because they would be uncomfortable being so free like I am being, then that's their sh It's not mine.